So um, let's go to the news. So we have 58 members. Actually, this was yesterday. I think, yeah, I think now it's 60. It's 60. 60 members, so that's good. Who, who is new? Yeah, nice. Um, we have a new YouTube account that is actually this one, in which all the presentations are recorded. So we have the ones that we had so far here. And actually, if you go to channels, oh no, to playlists, you could see them, group them by meeting. So here it was the last meeting, and you see the news, the tip, and the presentation that was back there. Um, we have, I don't know if everybody knows about that, but we have a, a Twitter account as well. So it's this one here, and um, it's growing. We have 28 followers. And if you want to know when the uh, videos are published and when is the new meeting coming and which are the topics that we will give, yeah, just follow us. <coughs> and we also have registered the fsharpsydney.com domain. We don't know yet what we are going to do with that, but currently it's redirecting to the meetup group. So if everybody puts that uh, uh, URL, it will redirect to that. Um, that's for the news of the group. Um, regarding F Sharp, a new version of Visual F Sharp tools was released. Um, and yes. these are the list of new features that were introduced. I think oh. the main ones oh, okay. are uh, the fact that well, now you could publish to Azure uh, websites. Um, now FSI has shadow copy, so it doesn't lock the, the DLL. And this one is very good as well. Now you could target uh, the portable profile for Windows Phone using the F Sharp tools. So you have there two URLs, and this is actually describing the. Let me show you that. This is describing all the changes that we have there, and the other URL is about the the download. The tool. So another thing that was happening lately is that not many people were happy with the F Sharp logo. I don't know if you were aware of this, but there was a founding going on in this URL in which you could uh, contribute to really help to improve the F Sharp logo. Um, there is a, a design company working on that. And it has been already three rounds of logos that they were publishing. Um, people can go and vote for those logos. In the last, the last one was a few weeks ago, and these are the three logos that came out from that round. People were voting, and yeah, now we need to wait until to see. And they were providing feedback to the company, and the company would work on top of that feedback. If you want to know more about that project, the the, the change of the logo, you could go to this URL, and in this other URL are the basically the guidelines that the company received to really work on the logo. Um, another news was that uh, now and the previously known as Cocos 2D framework that was made for Mono, now is fully supported by Xamarin uh, with the name of Cocos Shark, so that's uh, the new name. Um, and what that means is that now you could target 2D games for mobile using F Sharp. And here you have two URLs. The first one is the one from Xamarin announcing the framework. And the second one is about an example of using Coco Sharp from F Sharp. So here you have some code um, to play around and give it a try. Uh, the next one is about this new uh, Twitter account that was released uh, a few weeks ago. It's called FSI Vault. And basically, it's a Twitter account in which you could send uh, a F-sharp code, and it will execute that F-sharp code and return the result. So we will probably see something working uh, uh, today. But yeah, if you want to give it a try, just uh, you, you send any string 
concatenation, anything, and it just takes a few seconds and you will it will return the, the result to your Twitter account. Another news uh, is related with the fact that there is a new course in Pluralsight uh, related to F sharp and it's called Functional Data Structures. It's a very good uh, course. Basically, uh, it, it explains arrays, sequences, lists, dictionaries, sets, maps, and trees. There were already two other courses in Pluralsight that are these two. Introduction to F sharp, that is more about the syntax of the language, and the other one that is F sharp, uh, an F sharp functional architecture, that is uh, is basically uh, more about how to build an application that is fully functional, a web application using F sharp and reactive extensions. So that's very cool, but but it's not an easy uh, course, I, I must say. It, it really. Your brain hurts after that. <laughs> so here you have the link for the new, the new course. Only break. Yeah, <laughs> and it's it's one of those that you are like, yeah, I know a chart. I could follow that. And you need to pause so many times and look at the screen and what is this guy doing? Yeah, but it, but it's, it's fun too. Um, another news is related to the um, a new presentation that is in InfoQ. It's called A Day in the Life of Functional Data Science. That data science it is, and it's uh, showing all F sharp code. Um, this guy, Richard Minerich, is actually the organizer of the F sharp user group in New York that has more than 500 users there. So it's a very good talk, especially if you are interested to see uh, how a functional language like F sharp is used in the data science world. So it's quite good. And another uh, talk that is not from the last month, but from the previous one, uh, that is in InfoQ and it's about F sharp, is this doing data science with Thomas Petrucek. And that's a, a very good talk as well. So you have both links there. And the same guy that we were talking before about, Richard Mainerich, was also giving an interview for this podcast, Functional Geekery. And it's a very good interview, it's an, about an hour long. Um, in which he covers basically uh, why F sharp is getting more popular, which are the pain points, and in which ways you, you or people are using it. So it's a very good uh, podcast or episode. Another one is related with a, a course that is going to start in October. It's an online course. It's called F, F sharp and functional programming in finance. And it's given by Thomas Petrucek. It's not free, um, but yeah, you could go to that URL and you could give it a try and see the, the, the pricing and, and the content. And just a few more news that are not really related with F sharp, but they are, they are related uh, with um, functional programming in general. There is a new course in Coursera that is starting uh, in a few weeks. Uh, that is in Scala, it's about uh, functional programming principles in Scala, and it's given by Martin Odersky, that is actually the designer of Scala, and i done that course, it's a very good course, it's, it's a bit tough, it's time consuming, so the assignments take a lot of time, so say goodbye to your weekends if you want to do it, but, but it's a very good course, especially if you come you come from the object oriented side and you really want to give it a try to functional programming and, and see how you would solve different problems. So I will I really recommend that. And the next one is about a interaction to a, a functional programming in Haskell and it's done by Eric Mayer. So Eric, Eric is the, the one that introduced link to C sharp. Um, is is the one that also created the reactive extensions. So I don't, that will start in October. Both are free. This, the second one is in EDX. Here we have the URLs. Um, but yeah, that looks like it's going to be great as well. And the last one is about data science. And it is, it's most, more about the R language. Um, I've been doing that. There is a, there is a, in Coursera, there is this uh, specialization. And they have... Uh, one that is about data science, and they have different courses on top of uh, inside that specialization. Um, 
So if you want to give it a try and to see how you could use statistics and um, process data uh, using the R language, that's a, a very good course as well. If you have to to your and that's pretty much all. And if you want to know more about what is happening in F Sharp in, uh, every week, there, there is a very uh, good blog uh, that is from uh, Sergei, in which he, every week, he posts uh, different news uh, about F Sharp. And yeah, that's all. Thank you.